Right, what are we doing today then? What on earth are these? The Serafino boots for Fed. Oh my word! What are those? Welcome to SPFL Extra. We're going to try and recreate the George Alberts hammer with some cutting edge new boots. Also, in the second half of the show, we'll be having a look back at your comments from last week on your top SPFL wonder kids for the coming Football Manager 2016. Right, so these are the Serafino boots fourth edge and they're the biggest revolution in football boots since the Predator. As you can see, they look absolutely mental. You've got a massive part of the front for mastering the toe poke. So, in order for us to see if they can adapt to the modern game, we're gonna go out there to Lesser Hamden and try them out and try and recreate the Jorg Alberts Thunderbolt goal. But before we do that, I must first adopt the role of the modern day footballer. Right, so here we are, the modern day footballer. I've got my luminescent green shorts on, my tights, my white socks, my Serafino fourth edges, and of course, my retro purple gun firm on top. Ready to go. Let's do this. Power. Skill. Run up. Technique. I've got none. But hopefully, these boots, they'll help me. These are the Serafino fourth edge. And I look like a laugh, and these may look like a laugh, but believe me, Serafino are serious about this. We've had revolutionising of football boots before with the Predator and people laughed then when they had the bits to apply curve on them. But they are serious and what I would say is this requires time and effort to master what these boots can do. One thing I would say, the angle on them as you can see is a wee bit raised so you kind of need to get right over the ball to smack them. By the end of two hours you might be slamming the ball consistently into the top corner. And one thing's for sure, they're exciting. Maybe you could see these boots on a professional footballer. Do you think you can? What boots are you gonna be wearing this season? And are you gonna give the Serafino fourth edge a try? I recommend it. So last week we asked you for your wonder kids for the new football manager 2016, specifically SPFL Scottish Young Wonder Kids, and you answered in your droves. Namely, Noah McLaren, Jacob Shaw, Ethan Hampton, William Kerr, and SHV Gaming all said Craig Whiten. Now, Craig Whiten is a striker on loan from Dundee to Rafe Rovers and is a developing young player, a really good young player who's going to see some consistent football at Rafe Rovers. So we're waiting to see him break out in the championship. He's going to be playing some excellent defences in the form of Rangers, in the form of Hibs, in the form of teams like Falkirk. Two shout-outs of the week go to Kerr Hall and Andrew Granger as they say their wonder kid of the SPFL is Chris Kane, the St Johnston striker, and I could not agree more. And there's evidence to back this up. Chris Kane was scoring last season, like in the last game of the season, against Aberdeen to secure us that fourth place to get us to Europe. And he's scoring this season, namely last weekend against Dundee United in the Tayside Derby to pull us level and eventually we went on and won it. The next three shout outs come from Ross Ekaze, Logan HD and Gavin Turnbull and they're talking about Aidan Nesbitt. This boy is talented, let me tell you why. In the SFA Youth Cup Final last year, he scored a hat-trick against Rangers, an attacking midfielder at Celtic and he's going to break through in time because he's very, very good and very highly regarded in their development squad. Nesbitt's a good player. Give him a scout on Footy Man before he breaks out. You might get him on the cheap. You never know. Rig Rag, Houston Spider and DG3 are all talking about Lawrence Shanklin, a young striker from the Aberdeen youth system who's currently on loan at St Mirren. Now this guy is pretty promising. He's played for Scotland under 21s. In fact, he scored both goals in a 2-1 victory over Hungary. He's a talented young player. Get him scouted, make an inquiry. Maybe you can get him on the cheap, develop him and make him into what he can be, a true Scottish wonder kid. Three shout outs here from Barry Kazmarek. Hope I didn't absolutely batter that name, Barry. David Teresidius, 
again, hope I didn't batter that name, David. But this name, Viking FM, Viking, if that is football manager after this, then you must have all the knowledge. And you're shouting out Calvin Miller of Celtic. He's a young player starting to break through. Everyone's starting to kind of have a bit of a hullabaloo about this boy. Creative player, you never know. There's a lot of young Celtic players breaking through. Maybe they could let one or two of them go. You could buy them. Maybe you're Celtic, you go. You breed him through. Aidan Nesbitt, all these young players. Tierney at left back. Quite a lot of good young players in this Footy Man 2016 coming out of the Celtic development team. Sadly, folks, that's all we have time for this week, but we need your help. We need you to let us know what boots you'll be wearing this year. Will you be wearing the Serafino Fourth Edge? Let us know in the comment section below. And if you enjoyed today's episode, don't forget to follow us on Twitter, like us on Facebook, and subscribe to the SPFL YouTube channel by clicking just below. But I'll see you next week, guys.